Hey guys, it's Roger with Hotmart. I'm in my kitchen and it's time for another smart tip. Today we're going to be taking a look at four easy ways that you can be adding visuals using iMovie. Let's say you've started or you're already starting to film your video course and you're realizing that a class with just you talking kind of gets a little bit boring. Incorporating visuals into your classes is a great way to keep students' attention and when used correctly will help them learn and retain a lot more of the information that you're trying to share with them. But the key is to do it correctly. You don't want the visuals to be distracting and getting in the way of the flow of your class. Like that. That's just annoying. Stop doing that. For some great tips on how to use images correctly, I'm going to put a link to a blog post exactly about this below. So the first way to add visuals that we're going to be looking at today is the cutaway. This is the option that you want to use when you want to fill the screen with your visual aid and keep your voice in the background. So we have iMovie open and already have our main video loaded. To add our visual, which could be another video or still image, we hit the plus icon and then need to select the folder where the visual can be found. I'm going to add a video from the recently added and select the video I want to use for my visual. So I tap on the video and a box pops up and there's a plus button, a play button and three dots. I'm going to tap on the three dots and now I have my options for the way I want to add the visual. Our first option is cutaway and that's exactly what we're going to use right now. And I'm back in the main editing screen where the visual has been added. Now remember, this will show my visual with the audio of the original or main clip in the background. So the added clip has no sound unless I select it, tap the audio icon at the bottom of the screen and adjust the sound of the visual to the level that I want. While I have the visual selected, I can also edit it to the length that I want, slow down the frame rate of the image and play around with the color. I can put in all kinds of filters if I want to do that. Next up, we're going to be taking a look at the picture in picture option. This is great if you want to be adding a visual during your class, but you want to keep yourself as the primary focus, like the box over an anchor's shoulder in the nightly news, like this right here. So to add this type of visual to our course, let's go back to our main editing screen in iMovie where we can see the main track that we are working with. Just like with the cutaway, we're going to hit the plus button, select the type of media we want to use, and we'll get the same box as before. And we need to tap the ellipsis, and we want the picture in picture option. Now we can see our main image and the secondary image in the box. To edit the secondary image in the box, I just tap on the track so that the orangish box appears around it. And from there you can control the sound, edit the clip down, change the color, just like what you saw with the cutaway option. The things that are different with the picture in picture are options to change the size of the box the visual is in by clicking on the arrow cross guy thingy here and we can make the box larger or smaller and also change the position on the screen so it won't cover anything up unless you want to cover something up. One last thing here, you can also decide if you want to border around the secondary image. So next up we're going to be taking a look at split screen. Yeah, you see what I'm doing here with the whole giving you the visual of the visual while I'm talking about it. Pretty clever, right? It's about as best I can do in the clever department. Anyway, the same deal here. From our main editing screen, we hit the plus Choose the visual that we added, tap the ellipsis, and you guessed it, select the split screen. This is a pretty cool option because you can keep yourself on the screen and have the visual still pretty large. We'll get the same editing options. A cool thing here is you can change how you want the screen to be split. And you can take out the border if you want. And our final way to easily add visuals to our online class in the iMovie app is one that I'm not really sure how I'd incorporate into a class, but I'm gonna leave those details up to you. It's the blue screen, or the green screen, or the blue-green screen. As the name might have explained, the option works best when you have a solid blue or green in the shot, like what I've got here behind me. Because when I painted my kitchen seven years ago, I thought, 
I might be in this situation, you know. So, not to get too repetitive, but we're going to hit the plus, add our visual, and this time we're gonna select green blue screen option. Now a little tip here, the image that you want to appear in front, what you actually filmed in front of the blue screen or the green screen, you'll want that as your secondary image. What do I mean? The image of me right now with the green wall behind me, in the video you are watching right now, it's the secondary image. And the main image is of that waterfall. And the waterfall is gonna show up on anything that is green in that secondary image. Personally, I find this way of showing visuals in a lesson to be a little bit distracting. But I'm sure there's all kinds of situations that I'm not imagining right now. Like, let's say you're giving a course on how to be a weatherman. Or maybe you're teaching that much anticipated class about the science behind quantum realities and mirror universes. Or about multi-universes. You're kind of distracting. Oh, and one last thing about all of these options. Once you have one selected as your visual, you can easily switch the way you want to use the visual by hitting the layer button by the audio option. And like that, you can switch it to a cutaway, a picture in picture, a split screen, without having to reload the image again. All right guys, so that's what we got for today. Those were the four easy ways to incorporate visuals into your online course using iMovie. Just a reminder, iMovie is the free video editing app that comes with all iPhones. For a free app, it's really powerful and will do most of what you need to make your online course. If you aren't using an iPhone, you can check out our other tutorial on the basics of Adobe Rush, and that can be found as part of the Smart Course Maker package. You can get your hands on that by signing up for free in the Smart Course Maker option that you're gonna find below the video here. You'll get all kinds of great tips on how to create your online course, at home and only using your smartphone. So check it out, and also check out the blog that I mentioned. Play around with these different ways of adding visuals, and get things going with your online course. So I hope you like the tip. If you're thinking about or if you're already trying to create your online course at home, you should really sign up for the Smart Course Maker. It's a great way to get some guidance from professionals on how to build your course. You'll get fantastic tips organized in a way to walk you through the process, from the development of your original idea to the marketing of your final product. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next Smart Tip.